people suffering from unrelenting back pain may want to consider a shocking form of management. Another term for spinal cord stimulator is neuromodulation. So the neuromodulator or the spinal cord stimulator actually changes how the brain senses the pain in that limb. The body feels pain through messages sent to the brain. In spinal cord stimulation, a device is implanted into the lower back with wires running into the spinal canal. It blocks pain signals from reaching the brain using electrical stimulation. Patients describe the sensation in their limb or the back as a tingling, more pleasant sensation, a baseline pain. Electrical stimulation devices are used across medicine, helping some patients control overactive bladder and others who have epileptic seizures. The desired amount of stimulation is put in the patient's hands. An external device serves as a controller so patients can amp up the volume as needed. It's a pulsed electrical stimulation which the patient has control over, the patient can then decide how much stimulation and pain coverage they would like to achieve. Spinal cord stimulation is meant for people with severe chronic pain, those who have had failed surgeries or have nerve-related pain or numbness. In many cases, this stimulator helps them tame the pain. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.